Thanks a lot. Uh, so before we are going to start today's presentation, I would like to appreciate the initiative you people are taking. Because when we talk about the different aspects of life, uh, I believe the major uh, reason behind, you know, uh, the success of every uh, child or a student um, as a family as well, the success is lack, uh, lacking because of the skills we don't carry, uh, you know, during our uh, school time or college time or as a family as well. We are somehow, you know, not understanding each other very well. So there are many, you know, aspects we need to talk about in today's uh, uh, presentation. And the topic is, uh, you know, very clear about this topic that, you know, how life skills impact career choices. If we are lacking in our life skills, how those life skills are going to impact our career choices. We all are studying from the last so many years in this particular, you know, education system and students are still, you know, having, uh, facing few problems. Uh, so before I'm going to start the presentation, I want to introduce myself, uh, myself, Monica, as ma'am has already, you know, mentioned. I'm working as a career counselor and associated with many organizations, uh, you know, uh, on school levels and different organizations as well. We are connecting with all the students of all the ages and somehow we are getting an idea that, you know, the major reason behind taking a wrong decision in their career is because they are not understanding the value uh, of the life skills. Um, you know, uh, they should understand about that. And this particular platform is giving us an opportunity to reach maximum number of students, parents, teachers, school authorities, so that they uh, must also understand uh, the value behind this. So uh, why students are making wrong career choices? There are, you know, many stakeholders in this particular aspect, like the students are the major stakeholders. Then we have the parents, then we have the school, then we have the, you know, society as well as making decisions on the part of, uh, you know, uh, the student and the families. So um, I have mentioned or, uh, uh, you know, few pointers based on my experience, like where we are lacking. So when we talk about the students, the students do not fully appreciate the importance of career. That's the major reason, I believe, uh, you know, when we talk about the uh, with the students during their 10th standard, 11th or uh, 12th, when they are making major career decisions, uh, career is going to affect the almost every aspect of their life. They are not aware about that. More often than uh, not students, who create, uh, you know, uh, focused career goals early in school tends to be more, uh, much more successful. Those who are making right choices at the right time in their, you know, 10th standard, if they are making a right choice of, uh, you know, opting a right uh, stream, then they are uh, more successful in their uh, life when they are making right choices regarding their colleges or the course selection during their 12th standard, they are, uh, they are tend to be more successful. But the students who are not, you know, uh, aware about the importance of those choices, they are struggling they are somehow lack behind at this stage of life you know a career doesn't became the central goal for many students we have observed this uh, wrong timing is one of the major reasons so most students start thinking about their careers only when they reach to class 12 or after their 12th board exams uh, ideally classes 9th class 9th is the time uh, you know, I have observed and met students in schools as well. So we have observed that, you know, when you are in class nine, uh, you it's a, it's a right time to start thinking about your career. That gives you two years to, uh, you know, thoroughly analyze your own selves and the career options available. There are career choices where, you know, definite actions have to be taken from class nine, uh, ninth onwards. Uh, one of the major reason, uh, all these reasons are really very important, but one of the major reason in, uh, you know, in the young or the youth students is the peer influence. In teen uh, years, uh, it has been observed that, you know, no matter what the child uh, is going to be influenced by the friends, many students end up compromising their, you know, careers uh, under the influence of some student or some friend or something like that. So um, those who are very competitive and very focused, they start, you know, uh, uh, losing 
losing uh, their focus as well because of the peer influence. Then we talk about the lack of uh, awareness of career options. Uh, you know, one is the um, one is only as good as his knowledge. There are so many, you know, little efforts made to properly explore career options by students. Uh, even in our organizations where I'm working from the last, you know, 10 years, I have observed that we are working more on the opportunities available to the students and we are trying to make them aware about the opportunities and the options available. But they are somehow, you know, over the families even, we are going to talk about that as well, uh, because where the parents are lacking. They are stick to some few career options, but we need to understand that there is a lack of awareness about the career options and the, uh, the parents and the schools are on a same boat, I believe. So another aspect is understanding the long term prospects of that career, because uh, somehow they are not aware about the careers and somehow we have observed that they are not aware about the long term prospects of those careers. Uh, when we talk about uh, careers, then the limited understanding of future professions, uh, as I mentioned, the, you know, the understanding of long term prospects. So we need to talk about the limited understanding of future professions as well. Uh, we are, you know, preparing our kids with the mindset of the past, I believe. So it has been observed by me. Maybe the aspect is going to be different or the perspective of uh, is going to be different of other uh, persons or the people who are watching this. But in my experience, I have observed that uh, the students are not very futuristic in that way, or the parents are even not very futuristic. In the next, uh, you know, 15 to 20 years, world, is, world will be changing vastly, and the different technological advancement is going to be there. So uh, what we see today is that students and families are still stick to that those particular careers. And as a result, the career of the future uh, would also to be completely different they need to understand that and the uh, resource person or the students required for those careers the demand is going to be uh, really high because there are you know major changes going on um, lack of dedication so when we talk about lack of dedication a uh, general observation about today's generation is the absence of good old dedication we have seen that because of the major distractions and we have seen that you know students when we are talking about the skills students are talking about the time management and they need to understand as a student as a parent as a you know stakeholder on any stage we need to understand we all are having only 24 hours in a day we need to polish our skill. We need to prioritize the things. But still, we have seen that students are indulged into very, you know, small acts or the distractions. They usually said that, you know, ma'am, we are uh, distracted because of the online gamings. We are distracted because of the, you know, because friends are going out. So we need to prioritize the things. And uh, we need to make a major, you know, change about the attitude, uh, how we are thinking about the task we need to complete. Uh, the task which is very important, which is very urgent, uh, how we can delegate the task, how we need to prioritize the task, we are lacking, uh, you know, in that particular thing. And the available distractions are uh, changes. And uh, in standards of discipline, we are playing uh, from the last so many years, and it is playing a major part in the present scenario. When we talk about the uh, lack of self-analysis, you know, uh, as a career counselor, we are, uh, uh, you know, talking about the suitable career matches for the students. Uh, we talk about the psychometric assessments in which we are going to, uh, you know, think about or talk about their interests, their personalities and their aptitude. Uh, even we talk about the SWOT analysis conducted by the students on different stages, different uh, time uh, you know, so out of these three aptitudes, uh, out of these three aptitude, I believe is the major judgment point, uh, which is considered by the, you know, uh, our school examination system and students are somehow, uh, you know, used to that particular thought process and the parents are somehow stuck to that particular aptitude thing only. 
so we need to understand that you know understanding your own interest and personality is also very much required uh, you know through introspection by the student or the opinion uh, by the teachers and how parents are thinking they need to understand that you know uh, with time things do change they do have different interests developed in the student student man understand that you know the self analysis is very important while taking a right career choice uh the last but not the least is uh, you know assumption about the social life associated with careers students are somehow very influenced by uh, you know the uh, the the specific careers or the lifestyle of specific people who are in that particular career so when a student think about career they are thinking about a certain lifestyle as well uh you know i want to mention this particular example of mine that you know uh, a case study i would say that one of the students he said that ma'am i wants to become an is officer because of those particular bungalows or the cars given by the you know uh, government and uh, you know after the job as well we will get the assured pension as well but when we talk about the work culture and the challenges uh, you know associated with that particular career they were not aware about that and most of the students are you know uh, making that particular mistake so these assumptions turned wrong for the majority because of the lifestyle we assumed would be achieved by successful people in that particular career is totally different they do have different values they do have different uh, motivators career motivators uh, they do have different family issues so we should not indulge in that particular race that you know uh, the assumption behind specific career when we talk about uh, you know other aspects which are uh, uh, you know somehow impacting these particular career choices is the parents intervention when we talk about the you know parents part so parents limited awareness of career which i was mentioning uh, earlier as well that parents spend very limited energy on exploring changes in career and uh, they are driven by a scenario that you know they faced in their lifetime and uh, they are somehow making certain career choices for their uh, kids because they have some a uh, mindset or the influence in of that particular career so what they have seen in their immediate surroundings is also very uh, you know uh, Uh, is making an impact in a career choice of a student as well not that we are you know preparing our kids for the next we need to understand that that we are preparing our kids for the next 35 to 40 years so being futuristic is very much important for a student as well and as a parent also we need to understand that you know the immediate surroundings are not going to be same for the next 30 40 years so we need to be quite you know we need to be innovative in our you know career choices uh some jobs are considered to be reputed uh and uh, some are dis uh, reputed so bias is a major problem parents do have sometimes we have observed that students are very keen to make specific career choices but their parents are not willing to make them uh you know uh, make those decisions or the career uh, aspects they are considering are not disres uh, are disrespectful in their perspective so we need to appreciate that the uh, time uh, you know times have changed and the structure of society have been uh, you know uh, society you have faced and uh, what your child would face will be different would have been different so uh, shed your bias it's a it's a advice piece of advice for all the parents that please shed your bias and let them try and the, let them fly i i may say you know because if we are not going to give them that specific space to understand that particular career explore that career they won't be able to know the challenges they are going to face maybe they will manage those pressure techniques or pressure issues much better than the people you as a parent are observing and uh, you know from the last uh, so many years it has been the problem area for all the career counselors that you know Uh, students are forced by their parents to take decision so there are many you know cases where parents force choices uh, you know uh, uh, put their choices or force their choices on their children there is no doubt that you know as a parent you love your child 
we do understand as a parent we also want our uh, child to make good career choices and uh, you know uh, you have their good in heart i must say but kids today are quite different sentimentally and you know forcing their choices might have unwanted issues as well when we talk about the anxiety issues depression issues these are the new terminologies they they, they do exist in the past as well but now students are quite vocal about these things so we need to understand that as well and last but not least the societal reasons you know the quick success and money is required to sustain in a society the race to follow the trend is one of the major reason this is again a you know fallout of the changed fabric of the society i must say uh, we have become used to the uh, used to the following the latest trends uh, this trends chasing like you know one uh, at one point of time we have observed that everyone wants their child to become a is officer or ips officer uh, at one point of time we have observed that everyone wants their child to uh, you know become a btech graduate or uh, you know for any pcb student it was somehow forcefully mentioned in their mind or put their mind put in their mind that they have to do the mbbs only but now things are quite different uh, you know we need to understand there are so many you know career opportunities allied in paramedical sciences pure sciences are taking you uh, to a different level of career opportunities uh, so please don't you know put in that pressure in your child and uh, uh, the parents must also come out of uh, that particular pressure so um, the next thing we have observed is a specific race to chase a top colleges or the tier 1 colleges when we talk about you know iit i am so how many students can go to that particular top college we need to understand there are lakhs of students and thousands of seats so we need to understand and we need to un understand the capacity of the child only the tag of that particular college is not going to give that particular uh, you know growth in their career so can all jobs be fulfilled through the students from the top colleges only it is not possible we need to understand that and the answer is completely no understand not every child can reach these wow. you know ivy league colleges or the tier 1 colleges but despite that they can make famous careers different careers uh, the careers which are not very known today but maybe with their uh, you know skills and with their innovative mindset they can make them famous a uh, feeling of being average is cultivated in student everyone wants to be a top grader or uh, you know great value is attached to a grade uh, which is given to the parents education system is working so hard and they are trying to change this mindset of the parents and the society uh, but we are still into that you know extraordinary race uh, average student is not going to make such thing in a society or in their career so if a child has been marked average he would uh, need some motivation to break that barrier and uh, uh, we as a counselor are working on that very hard and we want parents to please you know support us in that way and the last fear of failure so no successful person has tasted success from the start you know in each and every career we need to start from scratch and uh, slowly and steadily we have reached the success so they have been unsuccessful many times but as a society uh, we have uh, you know created a culture where failures are laughed upon and uh, a student who fears failure is bound to be less successful in career so remember we cannot uh, have a day without a night as a student as a family as a society we need to understand this so next if we talk about uh, you know um, the core objective of any childhood or uh, childhood education worldwide we have seen that you know for a parent and for a school the major objectives were you know bright and secure future of their child to unlock the true potential of the child and uh, the highly successful life of a child uh when we talk about the schools they do have different agenda but somehow similar to that they want to develop top performing students uh with superior learning abilities the wisdom the thought process the ability with a strong character schools are having the same mindset but how we are going to you know 
fill that gap. We need to understand. Parents are investing lakhs of rupees in their education on uh, on the education of a student. Students are investing the precious 20 plus years uh, of their life in that education system. Despite all, the outcome is uncertain. We have talked about uh, the kind of mistakes we are doing while choosing a right career. Um, who are going to be responsible parties for that particular you know, situation? And we are spending so much money, so much time to get to that level where we are going to, you know, uh, get the outcome. But still the outcome is uncertain. We have seen that, you know, every child has been uh, in, in a classroom of 40 students. You can't say that, you know, all the students are uh, the number one students. Some are, you know, uh, very highly intelligent. Some are uh, average and some are below average as well. So outcome is very uncertain. How uh, we are going to deal with that situation? Because, you know, the performance level is going to be different. The pressure of the parents is going to be very different. So whatever is the objective, it can only be achieved if a child is self-confident and the superior learning is going to be there. The better academic engagement is going to be there. How we are going to deal with that is the issue. But how it is affecting the you know, parenting of a, a parent, the schooling of the school structure or the school environment, how it is impacting the career. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, the life skills are impacting only career choices. It is impacting the parenting as well. So most parents fall uh, into this thing and they, uh, you don't know, they are not giving that space to the student to, uh, you know, uh, build their true potential or something like that and the school schools are having the same kind of problems the schools fail to make every child a performer as i mentioned you know in a classroom of 40 students you can't make all the students number one performer so they can't address unique learning needs because of the education system we are having the careers you know the most people fail to build great careers because of the guesswork they are doing while selecting a stream or while making a career choice this decision impact their entire journey of life so we know the current options and the, the current situation we are having we know the problem as well so how we are going to you know fill that space which is missing so when we talk about the life skills, you know, uh, considering the present scenario, WHO uh, also, uh, you know, go through with the, the same kind of situation because I have mentioned it's a global problem. It's not a specific problem or of, a in, of India only or specific state problem. It's a global problem. So WHO came up with the uh, life skills needs to be taught in school as well. And you can easily see to it the major, uh, you know, role played by these particular, uh, you know, uh, life skills is the major objective, I would say, when we talk about the life skills, is to make that child or make that adult or make that human being, uh, you know, adaptive and positive in terms of behavior and enable them individually. As an individual, they need to be enabled to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life because it is not only a problem uh, faced by a young adult it is a problem faced by a you know career aspirant or a student or a person who is in that career uh, who is you know uh, just surviving in that career not making any growth in that specific career so there is a there is a, a huge difference we need to understand as a uh, you know person as a career uh, uh, aspirant, we need to understand that we are uh, adapting any career or accepting any career because we are somehow, uh, we are very keen to do that particular job, but we don't want to be a sleepwalker in that career. We want, we don't want to be just exist in that career. We, everyone wants to grow in that career. So this, these are the major, you know, drawbacks we have seen. So uh, in the last few slides, I just want to quickly wrap up what I was trying to say. Uh, what is, what are life skills actually? 
so when we are trying to make someone aware about the abilities they are having we are trying to help that person to take decisions solve problems think critically because these all are the you know uh, skill sets required these are not only skill sets uh, of you can name it as a life skill or a soft skill these are the skill sets which are required uh, or known as employability skills as well because when you are in a specific career your employer do want you uh, to have these kind of you know skill sets uh not only that if you are doing any business as well you need to be aware about these skill sets required in that particular business as well as a family person as well as an individual to you know live your life happily you need to understand that you need to think critically you need to communicate effectively you need to build healthy relationship and to think critically and not to make impulsive decisions and not to get involved into peer pressure uh, to make a right career decisions you need to understand that all the life skills are really very important your thinking skills your social skills are really very important so who has marked you know three major uh, divided uh, these 10 top uh, core life skills into three yes, categories uh, which is monica sorry to interrupt you ma'am yes. like we are running out of time and we need yes yes ma'am well, we are about to wind up only wrap up only okay so the social skills thinking skills and emotional skills we have you know uh, who has given a specific uh, techniques how to deal with the student how to taught all these uh, skills in the uh, you know um, in the school system as well the major objective is to make the th child aware that what how and when these are the major things we need to cover in this particular life skill segment and uh, the major four uh, you know in my opinion there are 10 core uh, skill sets but the major four uh, you know players in this particular skill sets are the creativity how you innovative you are how uh, you know creatively you are thinking the critically the questioning of that particular segment like why i need to do this how i need to do this uh you know these kind of questions need to be raised in the uh, mindset of a child the collaboration and the communication these are the major c's i believe we need to understand because the world is changing day by day and not only the uh, word uh, the experience uh, for example a phone you know the experience of uh, uh, handling a phone has been changed so we need to uh, uh, understand the futuristic approach and the futuristic demand of the Uh, uh of the society of a uh, career so that's all i just wanted to wrap up uh, you know the you, topic yeah thank you ma'am if you can stop sharing your screen uh, audience can have a better view of you sure thank you ma'am so um you have covered almost like everything ma'am i was going through the questions uh, those are little repetitive if you can uh, answer them in brief okay so the first question is can you elaborate on specific life skills that are particularly influential in shaping career choices uh definitely as i have already mentioned you know uh, these four c's and the major thing the critical thinking is the uh, major real, uh, role player because if we are aware that why i am doing this and you know how it is going to impact in my uh, career journey or my life uh, i would say because we need to understand that as a student it is not only impacting the present scenario uh, uh the futuristic approach needs to be uh, taken care of not only as a uh, student but as a uh, as a person who is living in a society and how it is going to impact the next generation as well so critical thinking and the communication because if you still have a thought in your mind but if you are not uh, uh, you know not able to or uh, make them aware of your thought process to someone else then uh, i believe the, this that 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 pro thought process is not going to be utilized so the communication and the critical thinking is going to be the major role player great to know ma'am how do these life skills contribute to personal and professional growth uh as i have mentioned you know the life skills or the soft skills whatever name we are going to call it but these are the employability skills so uh, all the uh, people who are living in this society are very much aware that you know as a student 
not not only as a person who's going to uh, uh, do any business in future as well that person needs to take uh, some experience as an employer as well uh, as an employee as well so any employer is seeking few uh, you know employability skills in their uh, employee the problem solving skills needs to be there in all the uh, employees and the creative thinking because when you are stuck in any situation when you are stuck in any problem then the uh, that particular uh, you you know skill is going to take you out from that scenario that situation and that is definitely going to be a very uh, you know useful aspect in any employee i believe that is going to be the essential aspect needs to be taken care of so are there specific examples or anecdotes that highlight direct impact of life skills and career success um i would say the students who are not very much the, the critical thinking is not very you know up to the mark for example so as a career counselor we do visit the different uh, you know uh, towns or the cities uh, of the states of the uh, this, this particular you know when we talk about india so uh, the students are very uh, you know having limited choices when we talk about the critical thinking when we talk about the decision making when we talk about the time management they do lack uh you know these uh, uh um, skills and because of that they are going into a wrong career and uh, if we talk about a limited you know career options available by the parents given by the parents a pcm student who is taking admission uh, you know in an engineering college and uh, that student has cleared the je exam mains exam has been given and now promoted for the advanced uh, you know exam uh, after you know uh, the first year completion of first year in second year we have observed that you know approximately 2400 students are uh, taking a drop year they are not continuing with the same uh, uh, degree course so the problem is you know they are not only uh, wasting their talent their uh, time they are not not only wasting their um, uh, money involved in that particular uh, you know degree course they are also uh, you know taking an opportunity need to be given to some other uh, student who was more uh, you know inclined towards that degree so uh, somehow we are uh, wasting the resources as well we are when we are taking a drop year we are wasting the resources so because of lack of that critical thinking lack of that you know mindset that we can do something else out of the you know uh, this pcm uh, uh, uh you know cluster we have taken so somehow we are wasting the resources so we need to make them aware that they should not do that these kind of wrong choices are going to impact not only on their personal life but on the life of a, a other student as well okay so in your opinion how early should individuals start developing life skills to positively influence their career paths uh i believe from the childhood only from the class uh, you know uh, nursery or kg i would say first standard only we need to let them uh, you know uh, the prob not only problem solving skills you know when we talk about the time management when we uh, uh, you know talk about the confidence or the communication these skills need to be inculcated in the students from the middle school or the primary school level only but when we talk about the career awareness i believe the uh, when the student is in class 8th or 9th they need to be aware about the you know uh, about the uh, how how impactful those life skills are going to be in their career journey uh, we can make them aware about that okay she or he uh, she is so cute uh, i am okay. enjoying her <laughs> presence <laughs> anyway so are there any notable trends or shifts in the importance of certain life skills in the contemporary job market ma'am uh we have seen you know a major difference that you know earlier students were not very uh, comfortable in communicating and uh, they were forced actually but in cities now students are quite vocal they are if they are having you know knowledge about that particular career and they have somehow the students who have done the swot analysis or uh, those the students who are you know gone through with a session we have observed a major shift in their mindset that they are open towards the career choices available to them they are now aware that before entering into that particular career we need to understand the work culture of that uh, you know job profile they are now investigating 
uh, their uh, their investigative skills are now increasing their uh, enterprising skills because the schools are somehow you know focusing more on their holistic approach uh, development and uh, they have been given opportunities nowadays by the schools only because as WHO mentioned and now schools are adapting all the skill sets and inculcating all the skill sets to the in, uh, in the life of a child from the very early stage so we have observed that now they are somehow aware about the losses they are going to have in future if they are not going to meet the uh, you know not going to um i would say how impactful now and now i believe students are aware that how impactful their career choices are going to be specifically in cities we have observed uh, most probably with our social impact uh, you know uh, teams and the different csrs we are reaching to the uh, uh, exteriors and the rural areas as well and now we are making them aware how impactful it is for them okay so how do life skills contribute to adaptability and resilience in navigating career challenges? Uh, when we talk about these skills, I believe the emo uh, emotional intelligence is going to play a major role. Uh, we are making them aware about, we are making the students and the parents aware about the emotional intelligence. These skill sets are need to be, uh, you know, inculcated in the students. And when they are aware about that, uh, their resilience, their uh, investigative skills, their uh, social skills are somehow improving day by day. Uh, you know, as a human, I believe we all are having these kind of skill sets. But we need to polish them. We need to be aware about that. Uh, till the time we are not aware about the utility of these skills, we are not going to focus or we are not going to polish those skills. So I believe uh, making them aware is the key issue we need to resolve as soon as possible. So we spoke about uh, the life skills needed for to make the career choices, ma'am. Can you share your insights on how individuals can continually enhance their life skills throughout their professional journey? Uh, you know, uh, as I mentioned, emotional intelligence is going to play a major role. Time management is going to play a major role. Communication is going to be, uh, you know, make a major role, play a major role. So uh, until and unless we are not going to... Uh, uh, stop this journey of uh, exploring the utility of uh, life skills in our career. Uh, we are not going to make a right choice. So the key uh, key point I would uh, like to give to all the students and all the you know working professionals is to update yourself. Your continuous learning process is not going to be stopped. You need to focus on that. You need to be aware about the futuristic changes. The development is going to be you know uh, going to be there. So being updated and being you know in a process of continuous learning is the key to uh, understand and to inculcate those skills in you uh, you know it it should be it should not be uh, blocked or capped by any specific age group it's a long term process and as a human we need to learn uh, these skills in every stage of life so we need to be open for the ideas and the changes uh, happening in the society okay so last but not the least, ma'am, are there any misconceptions or myths about the relationship between life skills and career choices that you would like to address? Uh, look, um, when we are making, uh, you know, career choices, I must say that, you know, uh, career is a part of life. It's not a life. We need to understand the major difference because uh, for few parents and for few students, we have observed that the only aim or the, uh, you know, objective of their life is to be a, a successful, you know, to have a successful career. But ultimately, after having that career, again, you have to come back to your family and you need to know the social skills. You need to understand that you are, uh, you know, as a, as a, uh, when we talk about a career, it's a part of life. It's a, you know, it's a, um, it's not the only life we are living. So uh, we need to understand the difference be, uh, between them. And I believe once we are going to, uh, you know, get to know the relation between, uh, you know, these both things, I believe we are going to be uh, uh, sorted, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Uh, it's a wonderful session, ma'am. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, the session.
School Journal of Education and uh, SchoolReformer.com. Thank you for the talk and for patiently answering all the questions. Most of the questions were repetitive, uh, but I'm sure audience got a better view uh, with your explanation. We also thank the audience for participating in the event and posting uh, very good questions. Thanks once again. Miss Monica, do you want to mention, uh, mention anything else, ma'am? Uh, no, thanks a lot for giving me the opportunity and I would really appreciate if these kind of sessions are going to be, you know, are going to be um, paying any change, uh, you know, in any student's life, then th these sessions are going to be really successful. Thank you. Great. Um, thanks a lot once again. If you want uh, your child to say hello to the audience, uh, maybe they will yeah, enjoy sure, it. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Hello. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll end the session now.